hello again uh, back here I want to make a short review about this uh, rogue or fake antivirus program called Nava Shield uh, as you have seen in my videos before it's a quite large downloader or setup file 53 megabytes and uh, they actually have their own website called navashield.com uh, as you see here just opened this page and uh, the all new 2010 Navashield Defense family feel safe surfing the internet. Um, with more about it, privacy protection, real time guard, full system scan, guard, and so on. Updates, and you can uh, you can download that program. Um, they even tell you they would have got the award from uh, Softpedia and so on um, scan your computer for free or you download it but if you see down here on the status bar uh, the link is not changing no matter whether I want to scan the computer for free or to download Nava Shield but clicking on that I come to this Nava installer application 53 Point one megabyte. So I will just download this file quickly. And uh, what more do we have on this home page? We have here uh, business, Nava at work. Um, with some prices, uh, single user license, forty dollars or two years for eighty dollars or a small business package ten licenses for two hundred and eighty four dollars a mega business package uh, even cannot write <laughs> correct so um, uh, one hundred licenses for two and a half thousand dollars uh, I want to click on buy that buy now uh, it's not I'm not coming to okay marking this by now but nothing happening I'm just coming back to this normal page clicking on about I have some information never shared has been our project since 2007 our program uh, spread really white widely and become famous for its ins efficiency efficient success so um you have some links here, news and releases and uh, no matter where you click uh, you always come back to this home page oh no this is a... R what's that? that's a redirect or... well I don't know but uh, if you see here down in the status uh, it tells me always it's uh, the link to Navashield but um, somehow it's opening some some news page and uh, I don't know what this is but uh, it's not so much more to you can see on this home page I was trying to find out who is the owner of this domain and this is really interesting because when you want to try to check this then you will get to this uh, who is guard protected and uh, you have an email address here uh, but uh, it's it's obviously not the right one but uh, I was checking this who is guard protect well what is this and it uh, who is guard protect uh, protects your privacy with who is guard um, everyday domain owner information so it's basically it's replacing the real information with their who is guard protection information and uh, it generates a unique address as it's described here and will it turn forward to your real image address which you specify this especially masks your email address from uh, the outside world outside world so uh, you cannot see who is behind this domain name uh, because this is who is guard protected uh, and who is guard they are um, located in the US Westchester I don't know where this is okay um, 
but now we have downloaded this um, file here and um, this is the home page I closed all tabs now I have a clean installation here without any antivirus installed um, checking the installer 53 megabyte and properties um, whether we see something here version 1 no company registered uh, as an owner and uh, no description copyright nothing um, yeah so I will run this install now unknown publisher I'll run this you can select only English as language um, license agreement Pro looks pretty much as every normal antivirus product you are installing and then you it comes this now shield award-winning computer protection um, and um, here you can select I want to try the software for free and uh, it's validating and it's activating a uh, trial software uh, this is the first time I started Nivershit it's recommended that you do a full system scan uh, to find existing threats I say yes of course please do so so I have a clean windows here and no fake installation the only software that I installed is Accurate Reader, CCleaner, Mabelbytes, Process Explorer and uh, Wireshark um, if you check the process explorer now we have um, Navashield running using 30-40% of the memory of the CPU usage uh, 50 megabyte RAM then you have a debugger f nearly 14 megabyte and a Nava bridge 9.5 so um, memory usage quite high and um, detecting my EP addresses doing a scan now in the meantime I can check here the the system what it can do anonymously surfing on it's working extent account this information is open and available to read on the internet please turn on surf anonymously to protect your information okay um, uh, okay it's it's turned on so if you click on this then it's turned off <laughs> don't know what this means uh, hiding your real EP address uh, we can check this directly um, here we are scanning already 40 detections that's amazing it's a clean system really funny uh, the guard update license active firewall uh, it looks really really much as a as a real antivirus product uh, here we have the log analysis of these viruses it finds or it tells you that it found all these files and uh, 61 already 63 it's going up so it's really a yeah typical fake program uh, scheduler firewall some settings everything is just enabled you can enable or disable it uh, schedule scanning automatically check for updates twice a week and now we have this scan finished here um, finished scanning and started healing found threats okay so now it's healing found threats removing viruses 100 now oh it's it's one out of 80 threats it founds so um, settings go back again option you can set up a proxy server here um, firewall on off security level get this warning one two three four five whatever that means automatic update on off um, yeah uh, surfing anonymous hiding your IP address uh, this we can check 
while he is he has to scan. He's removing threat. Removing key locker now. So I let this go. Um memory usage as you see here. I will start the web browser now, just checking the IP address. And uh, that's the real IP address. So it doesn't tell me that uh, it's not hiding my IP address. So it's a real, real joke <laughs> or fake, this whole program. Um, what more? It's the scanning, removing. Um, if we check um the process manager once again it's always popping up in the front to see uh, the network activity uh, I don't see this here no I will just start uh, Wireshark to see oh sorry I did already start it so um to see whether we have some activity here whether the program is communicating with anything doesn't look like this but uh it's trying to remove those viruses and uh update check for updates no updates found uh here we go we have some activities. Um, if you check this IP address, um, just I will just pause the video for a second. Okay, guys, back here. Just check this IP address uh, where this program is communicating with, and uh, it's an IP address in the Netherlands. Um hosted by leaseweb.com. So uh that's about this one and uh now I check update it's really it looks like it's it's checking for updates. Uh statistic Let me just see analyze follow that yeah Okay, so um, quit without saving. That's this one. Uh, what's the program doing? Running down there. I still have this uh, warning from um, from uh, Windows Security Center that no virus antivirus program is installed. Um yeah. And uh that's it. There's not so much more to say about this program. Um It's just a big big fake. <laughs> but at least it lets you start all the other programs. And uh there are other fake antivirus programs out there which once you have installed them you even cannot start any other executable. Uh you have to um save start a computer in safe mode and uh, to get rid of this malware so I'll just make a scan with uh malware bytes and we'll ba be back when this is finished okay malware bytes finished and uh found fifty two infections the same as I was testing uh Kaspersky pure better but this is basically because this whole uh nano shield uh no Nava shield to cut through, so uh, a lot of infections here. Memory processors, uh, and uh, we'll just remove them, and that's it. So much about um, Nava shield. Thank you. Bye.